Antimatter particles have the same mass as their matter counterparts, only with the opposite charge. Rather than consist of positively charged protons and negatively charged electrons, antimatter atoms are made from negatively charged antiprotons and positively charged positrons. When matter and antimatter interact with each other, they cancel each other out and convert 100% of their mass into energy. As we know from Einstein's famous equation, a small amount of mass contains an enormous amount of potential energy. If one kilogram of matter and one kilogram of antimatter were to collide, 180 quadrillion joules of energy would be produced. Antimatter powered rockets are a proposed method for interstellar space travel, as a rocket powered by antimatter could reach speeds of up to 70% the speed of light, reaching our nearest star in little over six years. The biggest problem with antimatter is that it's incredibly difficult and expensive to produce. Very, very little of the stuff has actually been produced, and only inside of particle accelerators. This all results in a hypothetical gram of antimatter costing over $63 trillion. It's also incredibly challenging to store, as it can't come into contact with regular matter, and so must be suspended in magnetic fields. 